Hi, Gina here with Peace, Love and Homeschool and today is going to be very Pinteresting. Hi friends, today I'm teaming up with Ingrid for Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles and we are going to be working on Pinteresting Things. Pinteresting Things is a series I started and I intend to continue. It was back in the fall. I did a burlap table runner and some kind of fall decor. I can't remember what it is at the moment, but um, I didn't continue it because I just, I don't know, I don't make the time to craft as much as I love to craft. So I'm trying, I started Pinteresting Things so that I would encourage myself to craft more and get things done because I have a list a mile long. I don't know if you're like me, but I have a list a mile long of things I would like to do from Pinterest. So Ingrid and I teamed up and we're putting the challenge out to you. Do you have a Pinterest list a mile long that you've been meaning to get around to? Well, today's the day to finally get started. Are you up for the challenge? No. So Ingrid will be making a wonderful DIY recipe that she found on Pinterest. And let me tell you, this girl can cook and she can bake. So you won't want to miss what she makes for her Pinteresting challenge. And I will be working on DIY decor. This is an open collab, so if you're up to the challenge, you are more than welcome to join us. I have all the information listed down below. And we also have a playlist that you are more than welcome to look at right up here in the little eye. You'll find it. You can see everyone who has joined in on this Pinteresting Things Challenge. With that said, let's get started. But here is the Pinteresting Things that I am working on today. I just love these little air plant jellyfish. Aren't they just adorable? Oh my goodness, I have wanted these forever. And here is another variation of them. I do have some beads, maybe we can try that today too. But yes, I think I want to try this today too. I have, I think I have enough to do that. And then I might also try one of these as well. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to find all the components in time. But I do have a place I can get them at. So we're gonna, these are the things I'm working on for today. I'm really anxious to dig in, so let's get started. Okay, so let me show you what I have here. First of all, I have my air plants, which I ordered off of Amazon. Some of these are really big and I don't know if they're going to fit in these little sea urchins. So those are some of the jelly, I mean of the air plants that I have. And then the sea urchins, which I was hoping they'd all be more lavenders, pinks, like these two. Can you see those? Okay, but I also got some greens. Um, this right here is some white sand from White Sands, New Mexico. I did not take it from the park. I took it from outside the park. You're not allowed to take any of the sand that's in the park. This is gypsum and I heated it up to kill any critters. And um, you know I need to clean through it when I actually use it but um, that's what I have to work with to fill these up. See, I already had started making some. And I'm sorry, I cannot find the little seashells. I have a huge bag of seashells, and I'm just not sure where they are. But that's what I'm working with right here today. And see this little hole right here? This just helps air circulate through for the air plant. So these are my smaller ones. I have two right here and right here. Can you see them? But yes, I have two, 
and then I bought one bigger one. So I'm trying to group it in threes and then I thought I would have one big one here with the larger opening, but I didn't notice till, I mean, till just a few minutes ago actually that it didn't have that air hole. But hopefully this will be, you know, wide enough that it will get some air flowing through there. So some of these larger ones can fit in here beautifully. You can probably group them with something small. Maybe, we'll see. So that is what I'm working with today. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or use the, or use these. I do have some other line, but this came with this kit here. And all the plants that came with this kit died. I don't know what the heck happened, but they died pretty quick. And I never got a chance to even try them. I ordered these later and they're just, they're really big. Um, so with this kit came this, the plants, and I believe this air plant organic food. And then also these little pins. This is for the sea urchin. And also these little S hooks to hang them up. So that's what we're working with here today. So we'll start, I think, with the jellies. Since these ones are pretty much already done. So I'm gonna start with the largest one here. And let's see. Oh, you know what? It doesn't actually have to fit in there. But if you'll see that, I'll put it sideways. If you see that, that really looks like a jelly, doesn't it? Some of these got smashed. Yes. I think I had this one with a little bit of color. I had it inside one of these. So we'll just stick it right back in there. Which is the biggest, ooh, uh-oh. Which is the biggest jelly? Hmm. I kind of like that first one I used. This one looks pretty good. It does have some leaves that are having issues down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them. Mm, they may not hold well. I'm gonna have to go higher up. So what we're supposed to do is take this if I can get it out without, yeah, see, it's all, dang it. So I noticed this is stretchy cord, so yay. Okay, I love stretchy cord. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is take this jelly, this jelly, this air plant, I'm already calling it the jelly, like from Nemo, Finding Nemo. <laughs> intertwine it around the leaves and then tie it wait a minute if I do it that way it's gonna be off-center I did. Okay, so let's undo. Thank goodness I didn't tie it. We're gonna just start over. Well, the one I wanted to start with is having problems, so let's just go with what we have here. Now I started cleaning him up of all the leaves that were falling off, and now all of them seem to want to come off. Look at that. So maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe he needs water. I don't know. I just watered them. So I'm gonna not use him. He seems kind of fragile. So what we're supposed to do is put this invisible string through the sea urchin. If I can get him through. He does not want to cooperate here. Okay. Oh, I just had it. Again. So 
hard to see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Success. Right there. not seem to be attaching well. Hmm. Maybe these need to be threaded through too. Let's see. You know what? I really think I am not going to use these. I don't like the look of them. And if I can make this work without them, I'm not using them. So what we're supposed to do is wrap this around the leaves. I'm not sure how far to go. Okay. Doesn't some of those bottom leaves seem kind of fragile? I'm going to go a little higher on some of these. Okay, there we go. Now we're supposed to tie it. This is proving to be quite difficult. Okay, that should work. There it is. It's working. Can you see that? Close here. There it is. I don't know how high. I want it to go. And then I do want to try the one with the beads too. I guess I'm going to be a bit generous with this, which I hope I don't regret. So he's done. Okay, so we'll do the next one. I don't think I'm going to get anything small enough. Oh, well, that opening is pretty large. Maybe he'll work in there. He will also look like he's swimming away one direction. I don't like that look. Maybe we'll try to fit. Now he's going to look too big. Think he looks too big? Hmm. Let's see. Are they anything smaller? I just don't like this one. I don't know. These are all the rest are just really large. So he's gonna be the smallest, maybe. No, he's probably the smallest. Let me see. One of these is really tiny. You like that one? Oh, maybe we'll just put him with that. Okay, so he's gonna go with that. And then he needs a larger. Okay, maybe so we'll do him. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Okay, come on. I'm sorry if I keep going out of frame. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this evenly in the middle. And then we'll pull these together. Maybe that'll help balance it better. Okay. There we go. That one I'm going to leave because it just worked. This one was too unbalanced, so I'm doubling it. See if this works better. Much, much better. Okay. 
Okay. He's hanging. Well. Oh, well, he's a little loppy anyways, so they shouldn't have done that. But see, he's kind of flowing to the back as well. So that's the second one done. Okay, so I've determined that it does not matter when we put that through. So, at least the way I'm doing it. And this. This one's having issues. This is one of the ones that got smushed. I feel so bad. I had it in the back of the car. And I had them. I don't remember if they, they were not in the. Oh, they were in the box, but it was open. Oh no, they were in this container because I had washed them. So they were in that container. And I put them on top of a rack I have in the car and I said okay everybody this is when we were in Nashville so I said okay everybody please do not put anything on these and somebody did put I don't know who put a bag on top of them and got smushed yes I took them with me to Nashville because I was so excited to get them and I wanted to get them watered because I think Remember I told you how my batch from the sea urchins that came with these um, died? I was waiting because I wanted to do an unboxing. And I think I waited a little too long and I didn't have enough hair. So I think I murdered the little guys. There we go. I'll cut this about right there. one yet. See that? He fits quite nicely in there. But it is a little lopsided, but that's okay. You see it? He's, he turned out the best so far. Let me see if I can work on these other. They just need to fit in there a little better, but this opening is too small, so he's never gonna fit. I'm just gonna have to, we're gonna have to fake it with him. See him, he, he looks all right. Okay. And then him, did I already nestle him in? I don't wanna break this or the, <gasps> see, I don't want the leaves to start falling off on me. So I think we'll just let him just sit naturally, because I think he's just too big. See when we just pull him, we don't have to mess with him. See him. Okay. One more to go and then we can start other decoration. This one here. I'll put these guys back in here. I have no idea how I'm going to hang these. I think I'm going to hang one, three of them together in a group of three, and then one of them to do that one where it looks like, um, here, I'll just put it in right here so you can see. Um, yeah, where it looks like it's hanging in a, where it's in a, it looks like it's in an ocean, like a jellyfish in an ocean. And this string through. Maybe it might, be better to string the other way because this hole is so small. Okay. Let's see. So it's a bit harder if you do it this way. Might be better to do it the other way. Got it. Got it. 
Yay! Yay! Come on, Come on. There we go. And can we just kind of tuck him in too? No. Not really. So that's what he's going to look like. See here? I'm gonna have to give these guys names. Oh, I love them. Okay, these are done for now. I hung my little jellies up here and I did add the beads. I did not put them on film though because it took me forever. I don't know if I like it. I do and I don't. And then I don't know what to do with the other two because they're green and not purple. And this one you'll see here is a purplish white. So that really goes well. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other two. I gently tied the knots too so I can untie them and I left the invisible string longer. What does it look like from underneath? I need more. I want a whole field of jelly and don't mind the tape up there. Oh my goodness. I could not get that down. My table was already in place and it just stuck. So there you have it. My Pinteresting things for this challenge. Air plants and jelly air plants. Again, be sure to check out the playlist down below. And don't forget to check out Ingrid's channel of Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace out. If you missed my last video, no worries, you can check it out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here. And be sure and ding the little bell so you know each and every time we upload.